in order to log in the Globe app, it was asking me for my Philippine phone number. I'm like, I don't have a Philippine phone number, I just got here, I'm trying to get one. I thought that was what you do in the, in the Globe app. Hey, what is going on? In this video, I want to talk about my first couple of days in the Philippines after moving here from the West to live here full time. So moving countries can be a very stressful experience. I've done it a few times. I don't recommend it. <laughs> but you know what? If you're not happy where you are, you gotta go somewhere where you're happy. And I am happy here, so that guy's happy. So like most people, I landed in Manila, Manila Airport. I had one suitcase and one carry-on backpack and that was my whole life. I sold everything back in the West. That was my whole life. So I got that stuff and I landed at the airport and I went over to the Savoy Hotel. That's in Newport. That's really close to the airport. So I took a grab over to Newport and that was my hotel. So, oh geez, oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to make a left. You got this, buddy. You got this. So, I land at Manila. I take a grab over to the Savoy Hotel. It was like, I don't know, $75 for the night, which I needed a base. I needed somewhere to land. So I go to the Savoy. I landed in Terminal 3, so the grab was only like a minute. But you can actually walk there if you wanted to. So I got to the Savoy, I showered because it was like a week of traveling because my flight would cancel five times on me. So we get to the, to the Savoy Hotel. I take a shower, shave, all that stuff, just start to feel like a human being again. And then after that, I said, okay, I need, I need my cell phone to work. So I go to some little Sari Sari store and I get myself a Globe SIM card. SIM card for Globe, not one of the tourists SIM cards. I got myself a real Filipino SIM card. One of the real ones. And it was, I think it was 75 pesos. So I get the real SIM card and I put it in my phone and then the next thing you gotta do is you gotta download... I got a Globe SIM card, just so you know. And my service has been excellent in Cebu and Manila. So I got the Globe SIM card. I downloaded the Globe app on my phone and then in order to log in the Globe app, it was asking me for my Philippine phone number. I'm like, I don't have a Philippine phone number, I just got here, I'm trying to get one. I thought that was what you do in the, in the Globe app. But what it turns out is that, and I learned this the hard way, folks, when you put that SIM card in your phone, you automatically have a Philippine phone number, and the way to find it is you go into your device info in your phone, in your settings, Look up device info, and then it will show you your plus six three Philippine phone number. So you insert that into your Globe app, and now boom, you have you have a Philippine phone number. So you do the Globe thing. You can even put prepaid money on it. Like you go to a 7-Eleven store and you punch in your phone number, and that will put load on your phone. And I'm a huge dummy, so the girl, the little Filipina at 7-Eleven had to do it for me. And I asked her to show me, but she just did it. She was extremely helpful. But then I did have to learn how to do it myself after because obviously if someone just does it for you, you don't know what they're doing. But so we got load on the phone and now we could start using it. You could buy things like different little packages. So I got a little package for like 15 gigs of data for 400 pesos valid for valid for uh, 15 days so I did that and yeah every 15 days you just top it up so that I found that was the easiest thing to do so now we got a phone but you need to register your sim card so you have to do a bunch of stuff you have to go on your globe app you can register it right from there you need to enter like your ID information I think you got to take a picture of yourself but you also need proof of residence. You need to prove where you're residing, but I didn't have an address. I just landed at the Savoy Hotel. So I went outside, I took a picture 
of the Savoy Hotel and said, that's where I live. <laughs> and I submitted the picture for my proof of address. And, it, and you know what? It worked. I don't think anyone's even looking at these things. So, so that was that. I have a phone. Next thing to do is i got to figure out how to get money to myself. So my plan, i got to close my visor. The wind's getting really bad. So the next thing you got to do is you got to get money to yourself. And my plan was to send money from Wise to Gcash. But I downloaded Gcash and I figured out that Gcash is for Filipinos. And if you're a foreigner wanting to use Gcash, you're very limited on what you can and can't do. You have to get verified. But in order to get verified, you need Filipino IDs. So the only Filipino ID I can get is an ACR card, which I can only get after like two, two and a half months of being here. So the Gcash thing didn't work out. And Gcash, the only thing I was able to use Gcash for was to buy load for the phone. So it's good for that, I guess. But I was looking at a bunch of different options on how to get money here without getting scammed because I brought Western money with me in order to change the, the cash places. Like the money changers, that's what they call them here, money changers. But it, the exchange rate was dog shit. The exchange rate was tatty. I don't know, correct me if I'm saying that wrong. The exchange rate was bad, that's what I'm trying to say. So I was stuck with all this Western money that I couldn't change because the rate was too bad. So what I found is Remitly seems to be the cheapest. So what I did is I wired up Remitly to my bank account and then I made it for cash pickup and I tried to send myself 100,000 the first time, 100,000 pesos, but like the, the little places wouldn't, they wouldn't give me 100k. So I ended up having to go to the BDO bank and that was a whole nother headache. You have to take photocopies of your passports and IDs and wait hours and it was a terrible experience. So what I started doing is just sending myself smaller amounts, less than 50,000, and anywhere can pretty much give you that. So that's how I got money to myself. And from there, yeah, I'm living the dream. I hopped on a plane. I booked a flight with Cebu Pacific, booked a flight to Cebu, landed here. I went to Newtown and got an Airbnb, got an Airbnb for a week in Newtown until I found myself another condo there to rent. So now I have a condo and we're good. Don't get me wrong, there was a bunch of headaches along the way, but that was just my first couple of days, like my first week. And like during all that, yeah, my bank in the West decided to cancel my visa cards so that I couldn't access visa money. Oh yeah, huge headaches, but I figured all that out. I ended up having a call, make a phone call to the West and get my bank to figure that out, but then they decided they're not going to help me, and now I don't even have a Visa card, so I'm just strictly running on cash. So that was that experience, but now we're here in Cebu, and we're going to figure out where we want to go from here. I'm thinking a small island, somewhere a bit less busy. I'm not a fan of the traffic. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not my favorite thing, so I'm going to have to figure out where we're going that's not busy which I don't know the population of the Philippines is pretty big so who knows who knows where we're going to end up but as soon as I re renew my immigration the next time I think we're going to start traveling around and finding a smaller place so if you're not subscribed to the channel yet consider subscribing smash the like button leave me a comment what your experience was the first week you got here and we'll go from there. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.